Ninja comes out of nowhere, making top 32 out of its regional, and of course, Candy Treats are continuing on doing what they do best. I'm giving your opponent a sore tooth, if you didn't know. 34% of you aren't going to actually believe this, which is why you're not subscribed to the channel, but make sure you guys do smash the living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. A Ninja Duelist stepped up to the arena here and said, you know what? We're going to challenge the normalities of the format here, all right? And we're going to pull off a solid top. And you know what? They did it. They got top 32 out of their regional, which is very, very impressive. I know this is all like pre-next round of support, by the way. So think about that. Proves that ninjas are actually good. So, yeah, it's, it's good flip ninja stuff. So we have one Baku, the beast ninja. One copy of Kagro, the cannon ninja. Two copies of Fenrir. We have triple copies of Mitsu. We have triple copies of ninja grandmaster Hanzo. Still best card in the deck next to <laughs> him. And we have triple Tobari. One copy of the twilight ninja Getsuga. And then we have two copies of upstart golden ninja. A lot of people do want to cut this because of like the dependence of traps in order to kind of combo. It's an interesting argument. We have triple copies of ups, or excuse me, of uh, Book of Moon. We have one called by the grave. We have one copy of the Hidden Village of Ninja Two Arts. Triple copies of the Notebook of Mystery. We have one copy of the Best Equip Card. We have one copy of Rota. Two copies of Talents. Triple copies of the Destructive Daruma Karma Cannon. Triple copies of Infinite Permanence. Two Lost Wind. Triple Art of Dancing Leaves. And one Duplication. Then we have one copy of Zillantis with one Sprite Elf, one Ceruja with two copies of Saizo, one Unicorn with one Masquerina, we have one Cross Sheep with one Boral Sword, one Apple with one Baguski, one Abyss Dweller, and triple copies of Miza. And then we have one Pankertops, triple Keldo with your triple Mudora. We have one Feather Duster, one Talons with triple evenly matched, and triple copies of Solemn Judgment here, wrapping up a very particularly interesting take on Ninja. Good stuff. Next up here we have Madolche with only one Herald. I feel so bad that Madolche players lost Herald, but it has been very interesting to see how this deck has been evolving. If you notice, the deck has been going more towards additional like Earth monsters and gutting out a lot of what I would consider the excess weight from this deck. And I think that that's a good thing uh, when you can see a shift around here with multiple different sorts of inclusions of card choices here it definitely goes to show that there is diversity in different ways to actually incorporate you know basically the earth package into this deck so we have two copies of by steel drill with triple copies of magna hut one copy of snoranir with one copy of herald of orange light we have triple copies of Fenrir with triple copies of Keldo. We have two copies of the Divine Karate. We have triple copies of Angeli. Two copies of Hoot Hoot Don't Pollute. Uh, one Magellan with two copies of Messengelato. We have triple copies of the Pudding Susior and one copy of Thine Pudding. Then we have triple copies of uh, the Sword Oracle Mudora, one Awakening Forest, triple Flourishing Hills, and triple copies of the Misting Seedlings. Then we have one Chateau, one Salon, and one copy of Promenade wrapping up your main deck. Then the next deck, you got one Underworld Goddess, one Fresh to Start, one Donner, one Asa with one Tornado Dragon. We have one Baguski with two copies of the Glass Foulet, two copies of the Tiaramisu, two copies of Shock Lala Mode, one Cowboy, one Zeus, and one Abyss Dweller. Then we have two copies of Drone Lockbird, one Butler, one Ladybug with two copies of Book of Eclipse, one Feather Duster, one Ticket, one copy of Necro Valley, one Seeker Village, one copy of Zombie World, triple evenly matched, and one copy of the Gravekeeper's Trap here. Wrapping up your interesting take on Madolshi. I definitely like what they're trying to do here with the different ratios and things. Especially your side deck is so tapped out to handle so many different matchups. It's actually kind of cool. Next up here, we have Bysteel Blue Eyes. Like, when I first saw this, I was like, I mean, we've seen Blue Eyes do very, very, very okay. Like, this hasn't been, like, a, a crazy, like, turnover or anything. It's just been okay, all right? But to see that we're trying to combine Fallen of Albaz good stuff with this, to actually make this work, I it's interesting, and it looks like it's had some sort of okay success. So we have one copy of Albion, the Shrouded Dragon, two copies of Aluber, two copies of the Blue Eyes Jetto Dragon, 
one little Jurus worm, uh, two Magna Huts with one Snora near. We have one Ecclesia with one old Dogmatica Florida Lease, two Fallen of Albaz with one Kit. We have two Lubellion with two White Stone of Ancients. One McCourier with one Blue Eyes White Dragon. So yeah, we're just playing one Blue Eyes. We have Triple Brand Infusion with the two Branded High Spirits. One Branded Lost with two Branded Opening. We have one Branded Regained with one Theater. Triple Nadir Servant. The one Ultimate Fusion. One Branded Beast. One Retribution. One Punishment. Two Imperm and Triple Skill Dream. Man, this is tacked out. We also have one Almirage, one Omega with one Titanic Clad. Two Mirror Jades. One Masquerade, one Lubellion with one Garuda, one Anitus with one Quiritus, we have one Brigand, one Tyrant Dragon, and then we have triple, or excuse me, two Albion with one Alba Lenitus. So I dig with one Pankertops with one Banshee with one Raw's Disciple, triple Forbidden Droplet, two Zombie World with one Expulsion, triple copies of Dimensional Bear, and triple copies of Evenly Matched here, wrapping up your... Very, very interesting, good stuff uh, package. Like, it's just kind of cool to see how many of these different packages that you can pull together and actually have this work itself out. Like, that is actually really, really cool at the end of the day. All right, next up here is Earthbox. Now, disclaimer here. I love seeing this deck work. I, I love, even though I give this deck a lot of crap in a lot of these videos, it is genuinely cool to see the combo lines kind of come together for this. Now, the downside for this deck is, one, you have a lot of high player interaction, um, and sometimes your reward kind of gets stomped along the way. You get a lot of very interesting cycles in terms of iteration to kind of step through here in order to get a lot of these combos off the ground. So if your opponent disrupts you, um, you, you can be dead in the water. Plus, you're you're kind of playing against yourself. Some of these hands can be brick central. So we have one Flying Pegasus, two copies of Dare Crane with one Anchor Drill. We have one Brutal Dozer with two copies of Harvester, one Trencher with one Tunneler. We have triple Fenrir with one copy of the Citadel, one Fortress with triple copies of Gear Frame, one Metal Cruncher with your one Unclass Spare, one copy of the Bullet Train Express, Triple Regulus with the one Vernal Sif uh, Awakening Force with triple, or excuse me, two Flourishing Hills and two Ducks. And we have two Heavy Forward with triple uh, redeployment, triple Disc Coliseum, your triple Urgent Schedule, two Imperm, one Overdrive, and two copies of Skill Drain. Interesting ratios there. We have one Sprite Elf, one Platinum Gadget, triple copies of Goliath with one Anger Knuckler, one Ballista with one Juggernaut Libby, we have one Gustav Max with one Super Dora. One River Stormer with one Earth Slicer, one Gear Gigan X, one Zeus, and one Ding Risu. And then our side deck here is Triple Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, one Mudora, Triple Dark Ruler No More, Triple Lightning Storm, two different Dimension Ground, and Triple Copies of Evenly Matched here. Wrapping up, yeah, Earth Machine at its real finest. And uh, like I said, I'm very happy to see how this is kind of coming together right now. The fact that, you know, with these ratios here, I think that's like the most interesting thing out of this video is just what what are we doing and how are we having success with this? Well, there you go. It's, it's kind of coming together and that's what you like to see. All right, and then the last deck we have here is Runic. They actually won a prize card tournament. Now, I am happy as heck to see the Runic is performing out here. I mean, yeah, Floodgate Central, baby! You love to see it. Um, and then, of course, you know, you're dualing, you're going through the fountain. This is everything that you want to just ruin your entire opponent's day. So we have triple copies of Majesty's Fiend, one called by the Grip, one Cardamize with triple copies of Messenger of Peace. We have triple Pot of Duality with triple copies of Runic Destruction, triple copies of Runic Flashing Fire, triple copies of the Runic Fountain. We have triple copies of Freezing Curses, one copy of the Golden Droplet, triple Slumber, one copy of Smiting Storm, triple Just the Tip, one Terraforming, two Punishment, two Goes and Match, two Rivalry, and two copies of There Can Only Be One. Down in the extract, we have one Frigid. One Nightmare Phoenix with one Deuce Makina. That's interesting. We have two copies of Moonin, two Ripple copies of Hugin, triple copies of Gary, two Frecky, and two copies of Anintis. And then side deck here, you got one Pankertops, two Spooky Dogwood, two Lava Golem, two Dimensional Fissure, triple copies of Regeki, two Silent Graveyard, and of course, triple copies of the Hand of God. Wrapping up your interesting take. For Runic. So like I said, there's a lot of interesting things that are still moving around. I mean, I know 
I know we're going to go through our metagame shift here in the near future, which is fine at the end of the day, but there's still a lot of things here that you will be able to kind of carry on over into the future here. We'll just have to wait and see how things go. So please, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I will see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.